Our adventurers have just been told of the directions they need to go to get from Water Drop to the Fog Lab. You've all gathered your wits, some of you more embarrassed than others, some of you more contemplative. What would the group like to do? Are we ready to head on our way? Is, is uh, Cranberry back with us? Or with the discussion, she's like, okay, you are you know where to go. Bye. Cranberry, the last time you guys saw her, she was in the bar. She's still in the bar with... Um, who let, who's left in the bar? I know Vitani and... Vitani's Octave? left in the bar. Oh. Yeah. And I think Rhea is still in the bar. I thought we did. I thought we walked out. Did all of you walk now. out? I feel like I, I we did. I walked out for a yeah. cigarette. Yeah, because I you can, Rhea, you can all be outside out now. And, um, she was gonna, she practice. was waving at Cranberry, like saying, "Hey, we're going, but if you need to stay back and you know shoot your shot, girl, it's fine." But uh, she <laughs> left him and came out with us. Shoot your shot, Cranberry. Cranberry and cocktail. Yes, Cranberry and cocktail. Genius. <laughs> Just because you're dead doesn't mean you're dead, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hum, 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 titty croissant. So, <laughs> you guys got, have got your directions. What do you want to do? You still have the map, or the map I gave you to water drop. You don't actually have a map, like, in the game, but you do have a map out of game. Have we, have we, um, acquired any healing potions other than we... the expired ones? <laughs> no. I have the okay. two expired was one, it, expired ones. There, there was another location that was mentioned as having possibly having potion healing potions. Yes. It was the pub and some I other know, place. Was like, there was a general shop. We didn't go to the general shop. Yeah, the general store is right down the road from where yeah. you guys currently are because I'm pretty sure you are in the west entrance of the tavern. And we, like, we don't have to leave. We can just, we can, uh, what's it called? Explore this town more if we want. I know that we were kind of heading out of it last time, but that was also because I think we were running out of time. Mm -hmm. So there's a general store. We've been to the, the forge next to the mine. You guys can linger here and shop around. You can get on your way. You can always come back. It is entirely up to you what you would like to do. Well, there's nothing else I want, so whatever you guys want. I'm ready to go, and you are. I don't yeah. have... Let me see how much money I still have left. I don't have much left. I mean, if you is good to go. Okay. If you guys are good to go, then... I'm good to go, good too. To go. Yeah. Okay. So, you're all... You're all in agreement. You're heading out? Yes. Okay. So, to do that... Also, real quick, I'm going to turn off sounds of people entering into the game for, you know, mm. my sanity's sake. Um, Boom. So, to do that, you guys are either going to go have to go back into the tavern and then up the north route and then through the uh, little housing district, or you're going to have to go continue on the west path through the general store to get up the way because those trees are too thick for you to currently walk through. So how would you guys like to go? I think I the going through the general store might as well. I have to admire the ingenious of the town building their <laughs> pathways through stores so that, you know, you're tempted to do impulse buying oh. before you continue <laughs> on. Water drop knew what they were doing. <laughs> <sighs> they did indeed. We, we may have escaped the plateau, but we did not escape capital. <laughs> so you guys are going into the general store? 
let's just go to the general store. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to the general store. We're not going to mm -hmm. be able to get rid of the what ifs until we do. Okay. Exactly. No, that's that's true. true. Yeah. I mean, general you know store. An NPC we're going to meet in here. Okay, so. Exactly. Uh, Cranberry is going to trail behind you guys, soft, like very like not in the ground, but like very close to it, almost like she's walking, but also, you know, she is in fact still a ghost. You guys go to the general store. The sign says open, but there's also like a clock underneath it, and the wheels on the clock are spinning. And the door has a little knocker on the front. Just turn my head towards Cranberry. Cranberry, what does the, the clock mean? She just kind of looks at it, she's like, I... I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, Zulema's gonna step up and knock on the knocker. Because why not? Okay, you knock. How do you knock? With the little knocky thingy. Like, I mean, like, mimic the knock. That you do. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so just like a basic, kind of like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basic wrap on the door. Okay, uh, you wait a little bit. Maybe a minute goes by, and then two, and the door doesn't open. Um. Shouldn't someone have opened the door by now? What are we missing here? Cranberry's gonna kind of like look throughout all of you and then look at the door and just be like, oh, hold, hold on. She's gonna go through the door. And another minute is gonna pass and then she's going to come back through the door and she's just gonna just... Her face just looks completely and... You've never really seen her mad before? Because even though you've only known her like, I don't know, a couple of hours, She's very jovial and very, like, jokey and very, like, laid back. She kind of looks angry. And she just rolls her eyes and then yanks the door open really hard. And you hear, like, this blistering of, like, like a lock being broken open. And then she waves her hand inside and she says, Oh, you are so Alright. I mean, that's one way to enter. Vitani. You're a lot stronger than I would assume for a ghost. Just broke a lock. I mean, um, hey, ghosts can fuck. They can break open doors. <laughs> Tanya's gonna walk right in after saying that. <laughs> you, you doing okay? Uh, that's that's Lamar shakes his head and then walks after her. <laughs> I'm wonderful. Um, I'm just gonna let you know right now, uh, Peachy's not really in the mood for people, but I kind of talk them down. They're kind of in one of their, uh, fits. I have never well, before if... related to anyone in this town as much as I do now. <laughs> well, I mean, when you own a store, you're gonna have to be fine with people. Peachy's not, it's not really... Like it was a break sign that's clearly said open you'll you'll find out uh, so okay. you guys go in and the shop is the first way that you enter is just like this neat little thing it's got rows of like open like boxes all of them are empty but it's like shelves and displays that look like they're going to be full but they're not currently and at the divider because you guys see on the map itself that the shape the store is shaped kind of like an l before that shape that goes off to the um East, sorry, I'm bad with directions. There is like this beaded curtain, and mm -hmm. it behind the beaded curtain is a velvet curtain, and the beads itself are just wooden beads, just round wooden beads on this like thick twine, and they all fall in front of this like basic brown velvet curtain. And you can tell that there is a gap slightly in between, and from that gap is a little bit of smoke that's kind of slightly pouring out onto the floor. Whoa. Atmospheric. Very atmospheric. 
Uh, what uh, does the smoke smell like? Does it smell like burning wood smoke, or does it smell like the sort of smoke from, say, tobacco, or perhaps another recreational it's, substance? It's like an incense kind of smoke. Ooh. Like, think, um, think like Freya. Mm. Like a Freya incense. Hippies. Yeah. <laughs> And there's a partition, like, we probably should not, like, we can pass through the beaded thing, but we probably shouldn't. You you can, if you want to. I'm saying this out of character right now. There's nothing in this area, so if you want to get where things are, you have to go to the other side of the store. I okay. see. Uh, uh, Zulamar is going to approach and brush aside some leaves, uh, some of the beads and be like, Excuse me? Um, Do you push the curtain aside uh, as well, or just the beads? Uh, just the beads for the moment. Okay. Uh, he's he's going to say, um, we, can we come in further? We're looking for the rest of the items here in the general store. Um, uh, yeah, I, I guess you can if you, if, if you want to. Sure. Zulabar's gonna open the curtain now. Bad day for business. Uh, no, um, um he hello and and welcome to the 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 general store. And you see a gnomish ghost standing oh on a table full of an array of hastily put together books and just a couple of potions. And they have this like lopsided like part like like a birthday cone hat that has a little pom pom on the end. And they're wearing little bells on their feet, but the bells don't jingle because they are a ghost, and they have, like, this scraggly little, like, beard. And they look like they were at someone's party, but they were the clown at someone's party when they died, and you get that vibe. <laughs> and they, they look very, they look very party clown that died at someone's birthday party tired. <laughs> Yikes. You know what, mood? Uh, it's it's nice to meet you. Um, my name is Zulamar. I, I'm assuming you are Peaches? Peachy. It's nice to meet you. Peach. Nice to meet you, too. I mean, as nice as meeting someone that's living can be. <laughs> that's, that's valid. I, I, I can... We're awful. It's oh, okay. understandable. Uh... Vitani's gonna step in after Zulamar and look around. Have any deals of the day? Um, we don't, uh, well, uh, we have anything on this table! <laughs> you, you guys can it's tell. Magic. Yeah, you guys can tell without even having to tell that this, <laughs> this, this gnome was not ready for customers. Everything on this table was hastily thrown together. It's all just kind of like tossed on there. What um, was up with the um, the clock on the door? Oh, um, I was um, having lunch. Oh, you guys can roll insight if you want. I yeah, think I, I will. Oh, yep, yep. He sounds shifty. Well, that's a four. I have a 14 plus whatever my insight is. One. <laughs> no, but Tommy. What did you roll? 30 20. What, what did you roll? Red. Tommy. No. Oh, oh, no. God. <laughs> it was the Tommy. Okay, let me see. Oh, no. The Tommy for insights. Her okay. Spaghetti. Who rolled? had a dirty twenty. Who rolled above a sixteen? Oh, nice. Aww. <laughs> barely. No, I'm just barely under. Uh, Mist, did you roll above? Yeah, I rolled a mod twenty-four. Okay, so you and Pierce, I think, were the only ones that rolled above a sixteen. I suppose so. I think yeah, so. so. Okay, so if you rolled above a twelve. Aha. You can tell that 
yeah, this was all kind of put together. You think they maybe were at lunch? Yeah, I guess, you know, lunch, like, it would, ma it would make sense for, like, a ghost to have lunch and just kind of be caught off guard and caught unawares. Um, Mist and Zulamar, you guys smell pot. <laughs> <laughs> what? Rhea doesn't smell the pot! Nope. How does oh, Matani uh, not smell the pot? That's stupid! <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you smell incense. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I would point out that Oji <laughs> would not smell the pot because he already smells like what he's been smoking. The whole time. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, far it's more, like, oh, shit. Yeah, he's more important. He's more interested in the smokestack. And Vitani right now. And it's also Oji sort of failed their whole entire character <laughs> characterization. To be uh, fair, no. Nope. Ahsoka did her. She has no idea what's going on. To no, be no. fair, <laughs> also Mist and Zulamar, you also see sort of like even though these are like uh, the eyes are ghostly, you do see kind of like that red rimmed kind of like haziness to the eyes. You do see like the twitchiness. You do see you catch like faint smoke coming out of like <laughs> the corner from like behind a counter, but you also see like the heavy incense that are kind of like drowning the rest of the room and like all fainting to the floor and flowing out that you saw coming through the curtain. He was shotgunning in his shop, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, we're expecting customers. <sighs> but yeah. Um. Okay. Well, oh, what does he walk. have on? Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, Mist was gonna walk up to the table and look what's there, but if you were going to... Uh, I was also know, going to, so we'll mm -hmm. just both walk up together. All right, I will let you know, currently on the table in front and, like, around, there is a, a, a black book with, like, a leather binding. There is... let me see. Mm. There is a book that has a latch on the side. It's, like, a thick book with a latch on the side of it that is in, like... it's, like, white. It's, like, a weird kind of cream white. There's another just plain book. Every time you look at it, it just looks normal. Um, That's sus. There's also a... Let me see. There are two little, like, business cards that are face down that have, like, for sale tags, like, in front of them. <laughs> there is a rolled up, um, a scroll with a little, like, red ribbon on it, and then a box of what looks like cards? <laughs> and then there's two potions that are behind PG. Would Mist be able to read the books because she knows the language? Uh, none of the books have titles on them. Eh, But if you wanted to pick one up and leaf through it, you could? She's just gonna watch for a second. Okay. Uh, would you guys uh, like anything? Well, what kind of books are these? Um, they're just books that I got off of, like, travelers or, um, some cards that, you know, might be useful to adventurers. Oh god, I don't need, I don't need more, <laughs> more curiosity in my life. <clears throat> Well, uh, Zulamar's going to step up and pick up one of the books. He's going to pick up the black book. The black book? Okay. Yes. Uh, please roll a d4 for me. Okay. By the way, Two. uh... As a reminder, Zulamar, you can't carry anything anything else. You can buy it, but you can't carry anything else because you're at max capacity. That's that's fine. Um, you rolled a two? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. There you are. I gotta type something out to you. Oh boy. Uh -oh. Let me pull up Discord on my phone so you guys don't hear the obnoxious clicking of keys. <laughs> Give it a second, it's gonna take a while. Oh, you're good. 
Just mute yourself for a second and click away. Well, then I would have to mute it on the other thing as well. Oh, on that's the true. Recording. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just too much effort for something yeah. that's like, here, let me grab this real fast. <laughs> so when you say cards, yes, are they like playing cards? You don't know. You, you recognize it as, like, what might be, like, Pokemon a plain card. Cards. But there are two, like, business cards. Oh. <laughs> well. Uh. Vitani's interested in looking at what could possibly be playing cards, then. When you get the chance. Okay. Freya is also, like, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about the normal-looking book, book, because that's sus. That one's the most sus of all of them. <laughs> I sent it to you, Zulamar. Okay, we will swap over to Vitani while Zulamar processes that information. Oh boy. Uh, you are looking at the playing cards? Yes. It is a white box full of playing cards, yeah. Just okay. normal fucking playing cards? Yep. That's what you assume? As far as you know. You haven't opened them to I... check. Hmm. Like the sense causes me not to trust them one bit. <laughs> I I would like to check and see what exactly these cards are, if I can. Uh, you pick them up and you open yeah. them. Uh, all of them are blank, surprisingly. A box of blank playing cards. That sounds like the opposite of playing cards. It sounds like um... not playing cards. <laughs> I can only think of one game you can play with a box of blank playing cards. It's you know, called 1,000 blank cards. Make your own. It's also kind of weird. You also notice that, like, there's there's only ten in this box. Only Wait. ten? Only ten. Is there something I can... What would I roll for this? Investigation? Uh, this would be Arcana. Arcana? All right. Uh -huh. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna see what's going on here. Okay. Hopefully I do better than my last roll. In the meantime, Zulamar's frowning at this black book and mutters, why are you growling like you're hungry? Um. <laughs> He's going to open the book. Oh, honey. Uh, roll. The 16. Okay, we'll get back to you, Zulamar. Um, <laughs> Vitani, yes? these these cards are magical, and you, the longer you look at them, <laughs> is there something on these cards? You can't. No. What? Yeah. What? Why is it? Why? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You remember something? Every time you buy something from one of these weird fucking vendors, you suddenly know exactly what it is. And you think that whatever that magic is that makes things mysterious and weird is on, these, uh, is on this deck of cards. Ah. Uh, in that case, I would like to purchase these cards. How much are they? Oh, uh, you actually want to buy things. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> um, I will take one candle. A, ca a candle? Yep. That's what you want. Sure. Two candles? <laughs> Two candles. <laughs> Two candles. Take it or leave it. Do you have candles? I don't have candles. I have torches. Uh. Well, um. You, you tend to not carry candles on you when you Wait. are a candle. Does anyone have Wait, candles? No. Wait, hang on. Zuma has hang a on. Has... Hang on. Can oh, I she? take soap and oil and make candles out of them? Uh, it hmm. would take a while. Zuma has to ten. Them. Okay, ten. Uh, Zuma already has some. We just replace <laughs> Zulamar's later. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Ratani just goes into his bag, because he's distracted by whatever's happening with the book, yeah. but... He, I'll just I, dig around the bag, pull out two candles, and hand them to Peachy. Okay, okay. Peachy, two I, candles. I just need you to know that Peachy takes them, sniffs them, and then bites into one. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's lunchtime. 
Are you hungry, dude? I mean, I got the one cheese, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, Vitani is going to take a moment to break the fourth wall. Look at Goo. Uh-huh. <laughs> and bitch, how the fuck do I not know this asshole is high? I don't know, man. It smells like vanilla in here. It's just real strong. Stupid! Stupid! It's just real fucking strong. I mean, you're- you might be able to, like, if you try again, maybe. But, you know. Um... Vitani, I'm gonna I need try to... Because that's not a sober thing to do, to just eat a fucking candle. I mean, he is also a ghost. <laughs> True, but even the ghosts were eating, like, ghost food. This is, like, candles. <laughs> but they're not ghost candles, so, you know. Uh, I sent you the thing that you are going to need. It's a lot more than just that. Okay. But I can't tell you what it currently is yet. Because there's a specific order to the way that it works. I see. What would I roll to in to try and figure out why the fuck this dude just ate a candle? Another, <laughs> uh, just a straight intelligence check. Fantastic! My worst! <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, Red. It's the wee's cough. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. <laughs> no, there's not that. Red that one. One. It's a uh, 16. 16? <coughs> yeah. Wow, this, is this... Is this ghost high? <laughs> so... Mmm... Mmm... Something's skunky. <laughs> oh, I, I can light more incense if it smells bad in here. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Listen, I did not say bad, did I? I mean. Mist is going to pull out one of her food rations and say, Could I trade some of my snacks for some of your stash back there? Uh, oh. What, what stash? You mean like, like, oh, oh, you mean like, like one of, one of the, the, the potions? Yeah, like, um, um, <laughs> yeah, sh sure, sure. She kind of like makes a smoking motion. No, man, you want to buy your weed, bro? You, you make like that, like, cut off motion, because then he like looks directly at Cranberry and he's like, no. <laughs> and he like leans forward, he's like, you're gonna get me in trouble, don't do that. Like, after she leaves. She I have a few, it's okay, I'll, go, I'll hook you up later. She will whoop my ass. I am small and she has a really big foot. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Kinky. Just trying to make a deal. I'll put my food elsewhere. I mean, I can, I can, but listen, if you, if you, if you, if you buy a potion, I will, I will sneak it into your bag, okay? But like, not in front of her. So what kind of potions are these? Um, I I don't know. They just I just got <laughs> them. I haven't had time to look. You guys kind of fuck you 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 kind of surprised me. I wasn't really like we don't get alive people here. We just kind of <laughs> <laughs> we totally derailed this. <laughs> <laughs> this man was not. He was not in the headspace for this. <laughs> so Mist is gonna put her individual package of food back on the table and say, "All right, I'll trade these for those two potions then." Okay, give me one second. Mist. <laughs> Mist. <laughs> Mist. Psst. Yeah. You gotta share some of that with me later. You know what? I really should have taken my old feet. Or my old cantrip. <laughs> you chose <laughs> change it! I regret tra tra changing it. You, you wanted to change it, and that's okay. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't really fit, but man, this group is different. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
my old cantrip in the old game was I literally could grow a toke a day. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes! <Damn>. Oh, man! <laughs> in handy i think i traded it for one item maybe god okay uh this needs to be underlined all right for the potions um okay mist roll a d6 <laughs> twice and if you get the same number just roll again sorry a d what a d6 i got a one and a three okay so you get handed a tall glass potion bottle that's filled with a swirl. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. You get a tall glass potion bottle with a glass squirrel curled around the rim. A glass squirrel? Yep. And then a short round glass bottle with a note tied to the cork that says helpful reminder. Um, but actually, I don't know if you would be able to read that because it's written in, for in Infernal. <laughs> Oh, no, I can't. Okay. okay. If anybody else reads oh, Infernal and they see that, they could tell you. I it, can. But... Nice. Okay. So let yeah. me send you... Miss, where are you at? There you go. So as soon as you hit... This is the first potion that was handed to you. Okay. And then three was the next. Uh, those are both handed to you in a little brown bag, and in that brown bag are three, and you're going to write this down in your inventory, three mm -hmm. blue rolled blunts. Fuck yeah, there. Fucking blood. You just got ghost weed. <laughs> Thank you. And she kind of like smiles, looking pleased with herself, and kind of like backs up to let other people have a chance. Has Umar lost his face? No. Okay. It's happened again, though. Do you want to go back to Zulmar for a moment? Again? Yeah. But he opened it. Uh, yeah, he opened it. Uh, right. Roll a wisdom saving throw. That's a, that's a d20, right? My brain just yeah. decided it didn't want to comprehend yeah. anything. Yeah. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. Oh, yay, okay. Help me out here. You rolled a 12? 16. Oh, 16. Okay. Uh, ooh. Oh, this, this book is giving you a headache. You need to close it right now. You need to close it right now. Vilmar immediately shuts it. Headache is gone. <laughs> and you... he's rather baffled. just sets it down on the you, table. You also remember, by the way, that thing that um vitani remembered that uh whatever this is you don't think you're going to be able to figure it out unless you buy it yeah no zuma is content and he sets it down and uh shakes his head and then just it's like so what does anybody else have any interest in buying anything? Rhea wanted uh, to look at the normal book, I think. Yeah, I have a feeling I won't be able to tell anything of it, though, if it's gonna be like the rest of them. But I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna flip through it for a second. And as I'm flipping oh, through uh, it, I'm gonna kind of... Oh, wait, go which ahead. one? You wanted the... Normal book. Okay, the one that was just the white one? Uh, okay, you said there was a cream book and then you said there's just like a normal book. Yeah, okay, you picked up the normal book. Um... Were you the one that figured out? No, you were not the other one. Okay. Uh, you open this book. Who am I language? Yeah, you, you open this book. <laughs> yeah, you as recognize I've... letters uh -huh. that Zulamar wrote when they were, you know, doing the whole, this is my name in this language. And you recognize mm -hmm. that, and then you just kind of, you also recognize your own letters in this book and then you recognize you've seen Aji write things down and you recognize letters from that in this book okay. but none of them make words you just 
be this. I was gonna kind of like look over at Mist as I was flipping through to kind of like, hey, hey, you see anything in this? Mist. <laughs> <laughs> Did we lose Laurel? Laurel? Sorry? Oh, I was saying Ray, I was kind of like looking over at you like, hey, you see any anything in this as I'm like flipping through the book? Oh, sorry, I didn't hear what. What, did I see anything? I don't think I did. Oh, no, there's a book that she's showing you. I will tell you what you see, miss. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't think I saw anything, did I? <laughs> What is happening in the chat right now? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, everything is fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just, my brain has connected the pieces, and Goo, you're a madman and a genius. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Because. <laughs> Earlier, I was making a comment like, oh god, I hope I don't cough the entire session. And Goose <laughs> like, you know what? That's okay. We'll, we'll figure something out. And I now we're you. here. And I'm like, th this is what he figured out, apparently. <laughs> I told you, baby. I got you. Oh, uh, blessed. Laurel, I sent you what it was. Yes, thank you. Um, um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to decide whether or not this is worth the I buying. hope you enjoy it because it's very funny to me personally as a human being. I think it's fucking fucking hilarious and brilliant. Miss kind of shrugs and she goes, "It's a spell book." Oh, how much for this? Um, do you have any like um? I don't know. What do you got? Do you have anything um, that's like hard that I can chew on? I have a torch. I don't want a torch. I have um. Oh, water. Well, I, I kind of need that. Oh, man. I have a sensor. A sensor? I have a light hammer. <laughs> gimme, give gimme. Give I'll, I'll take it. Okay, you know what? Yeah. Give it. Give it here. I'm pretty sure someone else has a hammer. <laughs> you, know, if we, you know, if we take a long rest, I could come back with all the mayonnaise this character could eat. <laughs> Uh, Miss kind of smiles and nods and is like, yes, that's a great trade. Yep, it really is. <laughs> oh my god. What else is left? Hold on, I need Amber's reaction. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> <laughs> if you spend if you spend a week, you will understand it. Well, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Matthew, I do not know what you just dropped in the chat, but I swear to God, if I look and it's a fucking dice made out of mayonnaise. <laughs> That's exactly what he put. You might want to talk. That's exactly what he put. He's oh just said mayo dice. Okay, uh, left on the table. The fucking, this fucking spell book. It's a black book that that Zulamar had. The tan book that has, like, a lock on it. Two cards and a scroll. Like, I will take cards. a look at the locked book. Okay. Alright. Um, How much for this little man? Um, uh... I, I don't know, it just offered me something. Alright, alright. All right, I've got my smokestack. I'm gonna offer a hit of my stuff. <laughs> uh, he's gonna look between you and Cranberry, and Cranberry is currently like like playing with some of the little like twiddly like wind chimes up in the corner. Um, I, and... I'm just I'm just gonna just like block the view, and I'm gonna offer like my pipe so you can give it a try. 
he's gonna be like, he's gonna look, and he's gonna be like really shifty about it, and he's gonna be like, yeah, okay, come here, come here, come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you have a very short transaction where a ghost takes toke off your pipe. Yeah. <laughs> this session. <laughs> I have a bit of the Brother Bishop boo boo. Uh, and he like holds it, and he waits, and you can see the smoke in his chest. And it, like, lingers and then sort of, like, fades into his, like, weird translucent body. Yeah. And he, like, nods. And he's like, mm. and it tastes like maple. Yeah. Chad, dude. Um, yeah, you can have, you can have that. Just, here you go, man. Here you yep. go, my dude. Uh, <laughs> so, when you pick it up, there's a language yeah. on the front of it that you can't read. But it does say in big, bold, block letters in common, your kind of common, don't panic. Aww. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and thanks for all the fish. Uh, I'm gonna crack it open. Okay. Check it out. And you know what? I could take the time to investigate this properly if I have to. I sent it to you. Okay. I would like to look at the scroll. Okay, actually. <laughs> oh, Drake, Drake read what it was. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Tell you what, I'm not even going to look at the scroll. I wish to purchase it. Okay, okay. What, I will look at it after I purchase it. What, whatever you want to offer me, I don't. Let's see. What I, do I, I don't got, what do I I don't got? got the brain got? power for this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I don't know, man. You want a javelin? I don't um, know what you'd use it for, but I I'm kind of small for stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> a javelin's probably like twice the size. <laughs> Um, Mist will put down one of more of her, um, uh, ration packs, partially because uh, she already has too much to carry, so frankly, <laughs> she's barely helping anyone other than herself. Okay. Uh, so she just put it down so they can get what they want. PT will 100% take that, pick it up, and start, like, chewing on the package itself. Like, he's, he's, he's opened it, and he's, like, taking the food out, and, like, looking it over and setting it aside and chewing on the package you get the oh my God. it's not that like you think he's not eating the food he's like saving it for later until it becomes like more ghost friendly ah uh, i'm out of that um and all right uh you want that scroll you get that scroll oh yes i'm going to let you know right now the stone in your pocket is warm you should maybe pick it up okay Tanya's gonna pick up her stone. Okay, something's gonna pop up on your stone as soon as my Discord loads. Let me write it. And it's not what I just oh sent goodness. you. What I just sent you is what you what the thing that you bought is. Oh shit! Okay. Wait, the fourth wall stone? Yeah. The fourth oh. wall stone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Because you purchased that thing, you are allowed to know this, but no one else is allowed to know it, because they don't have the fourth wall stone. Oh god. Uh, no. You don't. Uh... You don't know. But, uh, hold on. There's 
data. Never mind. Um, Zulamar is going to buy the black book and he's going to find out what it is and he's going to give it to somebody. Okay, what are you paying with? Uh, Zulamar is going to pull out uh, 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 a can another candle and his, his sensor. I don't know what that is. A sensor is something that you light incense on. Yeah, there you go. He's gonna give that and, and another candle. Okay, uh, Peachy takes it. And Peachy's also sitting down by now, by the way, and just kind of like. Th the zootedness is much more apparent and it's starting to kick in. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what you just bought. Enjoy that. <laughs> Um, he's immediately going to give this to Oji. Okay, uh, Oji, I'm about to give you what Pierce just bought. Okay. He's gonna hand it to Oji, because he's the cook and would probably find this incredibly intriguing, and Julemar can't carry anything. Okay. He loves the name! <laughs> so, the what? only thing... <laughs> left on the table are the two business cards. Well, I don't know if I really have anything to try to... You guys just buy everything. Every time you find anything, yeah, you no. just buy it. Well, it's because Zulema's just gonna... Crazy shit! Zulema's gonna say it out with... loud. It looks like we got a cookbook for eldritch horrors, mm -hmm. so maybe we can <laughs> feed our way out of being eaten. Oh, fair. Fantastic. We also have a spelling And it's book. called... It's it's called the Necronomnomicon. <laughs> I yes. do not know how I feel about this. It's called the Necronomnomicon. Well, why is that a book I'd buy? I got a potion of animal res resurrection. When oh. you drink this potion, an animal whose flesh you've eaten within the last hour is resurrected. Um, oh. By the way, Vitani, oh. your stone is warm again. To say, you should check it. I was about to say that we, we could use that in our other one, but I don't want to eat Clippy Cloppy. <laughs> no. <laughs> question. Question. <laughs> uh, Vitani has a question for the DM. Yeah. Using the, using the stone. Vitani has a question. Yep. <laughs> so, hypothetically, <clears throat> say a party member were to die. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> if Batani were to eat said party member, I mean, would she then be able to resurrect said party member? It says animals. Are we not animals? What if it were missed? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean listen, Batani's had her fair share of pussy in her life. It wouldn't, oh. it wouldn't affect her. She'd go for it. <sighs> Maybe you'd have to roll to see, but that's a later on kind of a thing. <laughs> gotcha. Christ! I <laughs> will keep this in you're mind. Gonna have to, you're gonna have to experiment with cannibalism. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have to add this to the quotes. Oh. <laughs> Where is the quote section from below? Do we not have a quote section for below? Do I need to make one? I feel like we did, but maybe not. Yeah, I'm just Don't gonna just, add it. Uh, to we the... put quotes of notes in House oh, of Commons. Yes, it's, that it's in the. It's in the. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yep. it's up there. Also, uh, <laughs> Vitani, don't forget to check your stone because it did go I... off. Yes, I. I am looking at the stone. Okay. Uh, what's what? What is it that's left? The two business cards. The two business cards. Yeah. Oh, my sanity. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will take those two cards. Okay. What are you offering? Uh, I've got rations. You seem to be enjoying the packages. I mean, sure, I don't care. Alright. Vitani gives him a ration. Gives them a ration. Uh, two for one, because two, there's two business cards, so if you give two, you can get both of them. 
Okay. Second ration. Second ration? Okay. So, one ration Two. for one card. Yes. You're going to want to do the thing that I said to do the thing with. Yes. Okay. I will be doing the thing. <clears throat> oh, she's about to kill me. What you're buying? What, what are the buying? cards? Uh, I sent you that one. Did you get both of them or just oh, one of them? I got both of them. That's the one that you're going to want to do the thing with. Okay. This is the other one. Did you just buy the cards? Yes. Oh, I'm sitting here looking in my inventory. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Are you inspecting? Are you inspecting both of them? Vitani? Yes. Okay. Well, because you inspected it. Okay, well, sh okay, but, um, all right. Do you all need, right. do you need me to give you, or give the thing to the other character, oh, no, no, no. or are you going to do it? I, I, okay. I got it, I got it. Psst, psst. Maya. Maya. Come yes. here. Yes. Vatani's get... just going to slide one of the cards over to Rhea, very quietly, like it's a shady... Underhanded business deal. <laughs> this is for you. Do you want me to? Do you like me? Yes, no. Do you like me? Yes, yes. <laughs> do you? Do you want me to paste it? To <laughs> go for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now listen. She flips the card over, and it's a question. Uh, you want some book? Yes, no. I want some book. <laughs> You okay, uh, Raya, you- No! <laughs> oh my god! What is happening? Uh, this, is, this is why Matani didn't need the fourth wall fucking stone. <laughs> uh, beautiful. You used to that well. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, by the way, when you hold it, you get a little tug and a direction. <laughs> Sorry, Rhea does not know what that means, but... No, no she doesn't. Amber does. So you guys have once again bought everything from these sellers. <laughs> we can't not do it. We can't leave them behind. And just to, like, you make. I love how we were hoping for potions, a healing potion, and we got none of that. No, we might we have. Got, a healing we potion. got things that are even better. Yeah, yeah we, might, we might have a terrifying and uh, inhumane healing potion. In fact, right? so you know. Hmm. Oh, absolutely! I really want to know what those cards say now. Oh my god. <clears throat> Well, Zulamar can read them for you. I don't know if that they were in common language or not. Uh, the the cards that they bought were in a language they could understand, specifically because they oh. own those cards now. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Mad. So, um, you guys have kind of, like, bought my stock. Can you, uh, no offense, I mean, you guys are great, you're super awesome, but can you, like, fucking leave? <laughs> Dude. By all means. Back door that way? We got, we got uh, no, you can go out the, the front door that way, and he points you toward the fucking, fuck it, the right side of the map. I fucking hate using cardinal directions. I hate it. I'm stupid, okay? <laughs> it's the right side of the fucking map. <laughs> Technical terms. We can use that with our kids. I'm dumb. Let me live. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a bean. So, out the door we came in, or the the no, one it, past it, you? No, it, it, would, it would be the other door, because there's two doors. It would be okay. the door that you guys... Because you have to go through it to get through the thing to get yeah. to the other yeah. Um, also, Well, thank you very much, Peachy. Yeah, no problem. As you guys are leaving, by the way, uh, if you notice, I don't know if you will or not, it's de dependent on how, you, how much you guys like Cranberry, she buys that wind chime, <laughs> but she buys it with, like, a shoe. Aww. <laughs> 
I don't want to watch the small man eat that shoe. <laughs> is, it, is it the left shoe? Uh, you know what? Yes. Excellent. Fantastic. I'm afraid he's, he's gonna dislocate his jaw like a snake, and I really don't want to know how ghosts eat shoes. You don't want to know how ghosts fuck it. either. Do you, is there anything about ghosts that you want to know, sir? Um, how to avoid becoming one. <laughs> That's valid. Uh, nice. Zulamar is going to head off after giving a wave to Peachy. Peachy uh, waves back, but they are fucking zooted. Yep. Alright. And make the way out. So, you guys are now outside, yeah? All of you? Yes. Yes. The day is nice, it's calm, there's a breeze going through, you feel really comfortable, you know, you've just done more shopping once again. You feel like, you know, you got this. Rhea, you know which way you guys are going. You, you just, you feel good. And you head down the road, and you are now in the sort of civilian section. And you see houses on either side of you. Mm -hmm. What do you guys want to um, do? Do you want to just go straight through? Well, I thought about breaking oh, into places and stealing all their stuff, but that's a completely different character to the one I'm playing now, so I will continue forward. Okay. I'm just, we'll just yeah, continue forward. forward. Okay. Yeah. What was Miss gonna do? She's gonna follow Ozzy. Okay. So you guys go past the houses. Uh, I want all of you to make a... Well, actually, what's just what's your passive perception? Uh, uh, mine is actually delicious. Oh shit, Rhea sucks. <laughs> Are you asking for all of ours or yeah. just theirs? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, twelve. Oh, actually, it doesn't suck as much. Rhea's is thirteen. Nice. Okay, that's good. So if you get like thirteen or higher more or less. Um, as you're walking by, you don't really think anything of it, but you kind of turn and look into the windows of the buildings. There are ghost families inside those homes, just oh. doing their daily shit. Like, some of them are bathing their kids, some of them oh. are, like, doing some weird jazzercise, others are, like, cooking at a stove. They're just ghosts living in homes. That's adorable. Oh. So do you guys remember which way you needed to go after you got out of the town? That sounds like a real job. I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I didn't <laughs> need to go to the front. <clears throat> That's my ass. Well, there's a very muffled, not muffled, but it's not overgrown, but you can tell it's been used before, kind of a footpath, as you guys are leaving. And Cranberry is going to call out to you guys and be like, all right, uh, see you guys if you come back, you know, don't die, or if you do, you know, visit. Bye. Bye, Cranberry. Get Bye, some! Cranberry. Thank you so much for everything that you've done, and enjoy the rest of your undead life. Fucking... Have fun. I will! So, like, both of those, I'm out, and she disappears. I love that. But, like, in a way that it's, like, instead of just sort of fading away, she literally just, like, does, like, a dead drop, but it's into the ground. I love that. Oh. So, you probably don't remember the directions to get there. Out of character. Oh, I don't remember them any- oh, well, I do- I, does Rhea, like, remember- like, in character, still knows? Yes, in character, you remember okay. them. Because I'm not gonna okay. be like, oh, I have also forgotten them because it's been a week. Actually, it's been, it's been two. I don't... You're just gonna go. You're gonna follow the directions that your character yeah, I mean, remembers. Uh, Raya, as, even with being told, Rhea should still remember because of what Butter gave her. Yeah, you gotta start writing this shit down. Uh, so... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. As you go, the path is kind of, like, tricky. 
there's a lot of yeah that that fall exactly <laughs> yeah that fall exactly but into the ground um <laughs> yeah you guys are just killing it wait i got the best one uh, uh yeah miss the first one you did was more or less the exactly what what happened is she gonna jump in there <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. Okay, so you go through the path that you remember. The ground, mm -hmm. fucking undergrowth, bushes, things like that. You're having to weave through the trees. Um, you hear birds chirping, occasionally like squirrels chittering. You're surprised that you hear like natural animals down here because so far everything has been really fucking weird. Mm -hmm. But as you go, you know, starting to get kind of hot outside, it's a little sweaty, the sun's moving more across the sky, everything's just, you know, going on as the day goes on. Half an hour passes, you don't see anything. You're not really trying to be quiet or anything, you're just going along this kind of less used path. Uh, another half hour passes, and you get to this, not a clearing, because it's, it's old and overgrown, but there's a signpost. And you... Uh, Zulamar and Mist can read Bog Lab A on the signpost, even though it is faded and covered in, like, grime and moss and shit. And then there is a stone pathway that leads into the woods. And that's got, like, you know those, like, round trellises, the round top trellises? There's one of those, but it's got, like, vines hanging down from it that are obscuring your way. So you're gonna have to go through that to get into whatever this area is, if you want to go along the path. Because everywhere else is just like thick, bunched up trees that are gnarled together. Okay. Um, Mist is gonna point to the sign and let everyone know that it means Fog Lab A, eh? so I guess that means we're in the right spot. Ah, oh, it would appear so. How do we want to proceed along the path or find an alternate route? I mean, I can try cutting through some of this with my axe. It's the shortest path. It's not like- Just cut our way through. It's not like it's like, disruptive kind of overgrowth, it's just, there's vines. Okay. Uh, Ray is just gonna try to cut through some of it with her axe then. Okay. You can push through if you want to, but if you want to cut through that's fine too. Yeah. Don't need to roll anything? No. Okay. It, it, chop chop? Yeah, I'm gonna let you know right now, it's it's not magical, it's literally just vines. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, how, so what's the it. order that you guys are going in? I guess Ray is in front right now. Okay. Tani will follow. Okay. Uh, Zulamar to... obviously follows. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be in the middle, but I'm actually going to have my little beetle robot thing fly overhead and kind of do scouting. It actually has enough intelligence that it could communicate if I set something up for it to do so. It won't be able to talk, but if it finds something, it can float. It'll fly to me, and then I can figure out how to get information from it when okay. that occurs. So, all right, because it's got good perception. Okay, so okay. you guys, you guys begin into mm -hmm. the little trellis. You are cutting and pushing through these vines and they're getting a little thicker toward the middle but you feel like this isn't a long trellis but it is like a it's a length it's not like a oh just a short like five foot thing it's it's a good like 20 30 feet and you're okay. you're pushing through it's winding a little bit and the little rock path you get is starting to come up more and you see that it's made out of faded red bricks and they're all like rounded red bricks to make a path Mm -hmm. As you come through to the other end, you find that you're in an overgrown clearing. And the faded red path leads up to this beautiful, shattered... What are they called? It's like a greenhouse, but it's like an observatory greenhouse. I think they have like a specific name, but I can't remember them because, again, I am... A plus on the smarts. 
And there are also little mushrooms growing like along the atrium, path. Little yeah, like it, like an atrium, but for plants. Um, yeah, like an aviary, maybe. No, aviary is birds. Atrium, aviary I think, is, is plants. Okay, yeah. I couldn't remember if uh, atrium was like for space. It was ah. one of those a words. Yeah, <laughs> but there are mushrooms growing in the bricks and up the sides of the building. Some of the panelings on the roof sh are shattered and there are vines growing in and moss growing around everything. Everything is covered in like old age and grime and dirt and it's kind of beautiful. And you also notice that there is fog coming out of the grounds of this building. Hmm. There is also a wooden sign the closer you get, that says Fog Lab A, Research and Ground. Researching the ground? Research and ground. Research and ground. Yes. Your little brick path leads you right up to what would have been a doorway, but the glass, it's been shattered. Oh. So would you guys like to go in? Yes. Uh, okay, well, Zulamar's going to. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, Zulamar's going to relay the. Or is this in common language that it we is. know? Since this is. It is in the language that only the two of you understand. Okay, so Zulamar's going to mention that it is Fog Lab A, uh, research and ground, and yeah. Okay, so you guys are going in. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Welcome to the Fog Lab. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> We're going to take a small break, and I'm going to stop the recording there, and then as soon as we did, it's going to be very small. It's going to be like three minutes, maybe. And then we're okay. going to pick back okay. up. Okay. Okay. All right. Stopping the recording in three, two, one.